Hello OSC kids, my name is Miss Alyssa and you might recognize me from the check-in desk on Sunday mornings. It's so great to be with you to share a devotional as a part of our 21 days of prayer. Today we're going to talk about how God has a plan for your life. That's right, your life. Just like he has one for my life and all of my friends' lives and my family's lives. Isn't that great? Let's go to God's word and hear what he says about the plan for our life. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Isn't that exciting that God has everything planned for our lives? We don't have to worry about where we're going to live, what we're going to do, who we're going to see. God has everything planned out for us. A long time ago, I used to try to figure out the plan for my life on my own. And I can tell you, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of time. And even for me, it was a lot of money. That's no fun. But I'm here to tell you today how you can learn what God's plan is for your life. First of all, you need to remember to pray. The way that we get close to God is by talking to him every day, as much as possible about anything you could think of, especially his plan for your life. The next thing we need to do is be sure and read God's word. We can only get to know God by reading his word. We then learn who he is and how much love he has for us. And once we know that love, we know that his plans for us are going to be so great. Then we need to seek wisdom, not just from anyone. You need to have godly friends in your life and even older people that may be able to point you in the right direction and help you figure out that plan too. The last thing we should do is listen. Oftentimes we pray and we're asking God for something and we're trusting him for something and we just keep praying and keep speaking and doing all these things. But it's not too often that we just sit back and listen. Open your heart today and hear what God wants to say to you. Let's pray. God, we just thank you so much that you have a perfect plan for our lives. We thank you that we don't have to force anything and we thank you that we don't have to struggle to figure it out. All we have to do is ask. Lord, help us to open our hearts and our minds to what your plan is for our life. Let us remember to always spend time with you, read your word, and seek wise counsel. We thank you, Lord, for the people that you put into our lives that lead us in the right direction. Lord, we ask that you just speak to us today, and we ask that you just continue to be with us, through every second of every day of our life. We know that you say you never leave us alone, and we just thank you so much for that. Thank you for your great plan. Thank you for looking out for our future. We love you, God, and we just praise you for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Take a moment today, after this video, read God's word, Jeremiah 29 11, and just sit still and listen to what God has to say. You never know, he may tell you a part of the plan.